guys, my name is Hans. I'm on my mid-twenties. I love to draw. Uh, it's my first time doing an interview video. So I hope you bear with me with this. Okay. So I started working as an animator here at World Anime Networks at around May 2019. That's about a year and three months already. Uh, we have a very small group of passionate people on our team that enjoys to eat a lot, I mean, eat, play a lot, I mean, uh, draw a lot. And of course, we don't forget to keep up with our drawing skills every time we get the chance to do it. So, what is it? Today, I'll be showing you a time lapse video of what we're making, a uh, mask for our studio that will be used to animate with the other original characters that's still in progress. So, yeah, interesting, right? And we'll mainly use her for announcements, events, and for future plans. So I'll be explaining a bit on certain parts on how I go about with my process on the video. So I hope you stick around and enjoy. And hello, welcome. Hello, hello. Here, uh, we are here with Lance, an animator for World Anime Work Networks. Hi. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, can you explain to us your process on character design? Uh, how you make character designs? Uh, okay, so right now you're looking at a very rough sketch. It's not very clear yet on what I'm going for, but right now I'm just putting everything, everything that I think of. Uh, okay, so uh, of course you start with research and what the client likes, right? Uh, In this, yeah. Right now, basically, we have uh, we're using the cats as inspiration for the whole process. Cats, okay. So, why cats? <laughs> Actually, because uh, we, we, we're taking care of cats in the studio, so... <laughs> um, okay, so after your research, uh, you, you go to the rough sketch? Uh, yeah. I just drew right away uh, no clear idea yet just putting on the idea together there oh, okay so in terms of inspiration it's cats uh, yeah uh, so in what element here in this draw are cats it's like just the ears <laughs> are there any uh, inspirations for the other parts? Uh, no, just the ears yet. Oh. <laughs> okay, so so uh, this part uh, is having, uh, you said the uh, it's inspired by marching band theme. Mm -hmm. So uh, what what is she holding? Uh, uh, a, a, a plaything? Plaything? Yeah. What plaything? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you can you can think whatever you like for what it looks like. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know what it it is called, but it's it's something that. It, uh... What's that called again? With the feathers, yeah. Feather. So, uh, what's the personality of this character? I'm not, I'm not actually sure about the personality yet, but she's going to be the... She's gonna be announcing the, the events, like future plans and announcements for the 
Oh, for the studio. Okay, so this is the mascot for World Anime Networks. Hmm. I think that's the first time we told about this. <laughs> <laughs> so this is actually the mascot for uh, World Anime Networks that yep. Blanz is designing. So as for the style of drawing, or did you get the inspiration? Uh, the style? I actually have no particular style for myself. I just... Uh, I don't know. I have many different things that I'm interested in when I'm drawing. So I have really, really... Uh, most artists that say that they don't have a style of their own, but when you see their drawing, see, ah, this, uh, this is Lance drawing. <laughs> you can tell it, but the artist doesn't seem to notice that. Okay, so uh, uh, here you're drawing the anatomy of the uh, mascot character design and the upper left it's the one logo, yes. so World Anime Network's logo. So this design will be based off from where? Uh, I actually... Uh first design I wasn't really happy with how it looked so I thought maybe I'll use the logo for the studio to to use for the outfit so yeah so usually in character design you make uh, several designs then uh, you choose from it right or you choose apart from this design then choose apart mm -hmm. from the other design then combine it something like that so isn't it tiring to think of designs mm, not, not really because if you have like the skeleton already on the skeleton. On place yeah, the, the figure the figure the whole figure if it's already there then it's easy to design the clothes for the car so you could basically just focus on the clothes itself uh, so just like here you're just feeling uh, you, you had a base skeleton for mm -hmm. every character then you just copy paste it then mm -hmm. design the clothes so, yeah. so this design is inspired by the logo logo uh, you're done with the first design yeah you're moving on to the next design or is it the same design yeah, I'm going for another view. This one's the back view. Oh, okay. So this is the back view for the first design. Ah, uh, yeah. I think I'm starting to get pretty happy with the look. So I decided to make another view for it. Oh. Why are you happy? <laughs> <laughs> the, the overall <laughs> design looks nice already, I think. So but what made what in this design made you happy? <laughs> Why are you I making me <laughs> embarrassed? <laughs> Is it the posing? Huh. Oh, that pose. Y you 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 can say that. <laughs> oh, I'm doing the structure again. Uh, so this also can be used. Uh, repeatedly, right? Mm. For other designs. So you don't uh, usually look for uh, references or. I. Uh, well, occasionally. But for this instance, I'm not using any reference. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Is it required that the mascot is a girl? Well, the plan is she has to be, uh, I mean, 
it has to be the character that everybody likes so so no nobody likes boys uh, <laughs> well the majority of the <laughs> people in, on the studio is male so yeah okay why is the mascot designed to be a human isn't mascots usually non-human that characters like it, it, it wasn't really clear for me at first so I thought it was supposed to be human but actually it should be <laughs> a cat <laughs> so I made a huge mistake there so but we went we went for the character instead so I think it's okay okay is here you can I'm still using the some parts of the original design on this new variation of the costume mm. uh, like the uh, the marching band motif yeah, yes. yeah but you you put the design of the logo in her what did you call this <laughs> cape like Structure, the, the sleeve <laughs> of the dress, the, the thing. Uh, so, so yeah, I added that. So I thought it would look nice, but eventually I thought it looked similar, like a to a clown. Clown. Yeah. That doesn't look like a clown to me though. The outfit of the clown, where there's spikes on the neck. Ah, uh, the jester. Um. I think it looks okay. So usually, uh, when you do character design, you don't uh, really. It's just a sketch. You don't finish since uh, you don't finish the arms like that since it's just that takes time, uh, right? Yeah, it's not really important unless the arms has a specific design of their own yeah yeah but in this case uh don't really need the arms mm. and the uh legs yeah. part no, uh, you, uh, so uh, you decided to go with ponytail uh yeah uh, like i decided to go with a ponytail Girls. You, you like ponytail? I like ponytail girl. Why you like ponytail? I think everybody likes ponytail girl. And maybe... Why? Is, why is there a reason? No particular reason. <laughs> So uh, yeah, the eyes uh, close up is usually a standard when drawing character design, right? Okay, okay so here's the sketch for the uh, third variation. Uh, for, yeah. for, so uh, what's your inspiration going to here? I think I have a clear idea now of what I'm going for. So I'm going to be very careful with my lines here. Um, is, is that <laughs> uh, any idea of a uh, concrete idea on what you're planning to draw for the third character? It's basically it's the same but with a more cleaner look. Uh, so, so this time you decided to draw the feet. Hmm. Right? So uh, you plan to design, to make a design. It's easier for... to put the design for the feet if you have like a general idea of what she would look like from the upper body. So you could match the lower body on the upper body is easily if you have like an outfit for that. Already. Okay, so uh, you're at this point of the drawing, what were your thoughts? I'm thinking of 
making a coffee about here. Right Co about here. Coffee. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Why coffee? Hmm? Ah, uh, coffee? Don't don't you like to drink coffee while you're working? Uh, sometimes when well, I need to feel energized. Mm. So it's not really that. It's a part of my morning. So how about you? Uh, how much coffee do you consume? It. I think it doesn't really matter how much you consume. It's just that if you enjoy drinking it, you should just drink it. So uh, how do you enjoy coffee? Coffee, coffee, coffee is life, you know. Coffee is the thing. Okay, so you're a coffee advocate. <laughs> hmm, you're like a coffee connoisseur. Yeah. What? So, what's your favorite type of coffee? Uh, you know the brown thing, coffee co brown. Mm, no. No, no, you don't. You don't know about the coffee cup brand. Why, why that specific <laughs> brand? Well. Anyways, that's that's your inspiration for this character design. Well, that's that's a different story. <laughs> so why did you put? <laughs> You erased the uh, sketch you've been doing for the past. Uh, yeah, the first structure was a little too stiff for me, so I thought I should redo the whole thing. Her pose was just standing still. So now you're creating more uh, dynamic posing. But Not really dynamic, but it shows the like a bit of character on on her. Oh, so so at this point you you thought about her character, her personality. Uh, a little bit. So, uh, what personality does she have? has to look fun fun and inviting inviting and, and beautiful uh, cute inviting is what that is that a inviting? personality no it's <laughs> it's traits what do you mean inviting <laughs> well she has does she to invite do, you to her house she has to do announcements for the people so ah so that oh, okay she has to catch the attention <laughs> of the people so yes okay So at this point, uh, you've changed a lot of uh, details about the first draft you done. Yeah, I made a lot of adjustments from the first, from the second draft of the design. Mm -hmm. Mainly because the lines are not really working for me, so I thought I should change a bit. Oh. Again, it was distracting for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I removed it. So I think she looked better right now. So, yeah. so in the process of character design, nothing is really final. Mm. She actually has more folds on her skirt. Maybe I should reduce that. Uh, you're also making the second variation. Yeah, it was a really quick idea that I thought of, so I made another cup. Uh, so that's very, that's actually a good advice. Yeah? When you have an idea you sketch it quickly before it disappears in your yeah in your mind in, yeah 
in your thoughts, in your imaginal world. Yeah. It's not even a word, but you get it. So you're starting to color, uh, starting to think of the colors. Yeah, I'm preparing for laying out the colors that I'm going to use. But I'm going to heavily use the coloring on the logo. So the color scheme of the logo, is, which is uh, teal? It's teal. Like teal. Yeah, teal, black, teal, black. Uh, and gray. Lots of gray. Went with cat. When one is like an onomatopoeia of bark. Onomatopoeia? No, actually, cats can one. How? You know, we've heard cats one sometimes. You're just not aware, I think. <laughs> <laughs> So at this point, uh, you've decided to go with the white. Mm. Uh, white. I've already have Rogisan check the character, so he just suggested that I should use the hair on the first design and use the clothes on the second design. Uh, so you already had client feedback. Uh, yeah. I think the character looks good by uh, right now. Cool, thank you. Uh, you went with short hair. This style is what do you call this style? Bob cut. Yeah, bob, short bob. Yeah. So this is the final form of the character. Yeah. You went through one, two, three, four, five, uh, four faces. That's correct. Uh, and so after you finished, uh, so this is the final form of your mascot, right? Yeah, the chibi form. Yeah, so after you finished the design, you made a, ver a chibi variation. Mm, yeah. So, any thoughts on this? So, we made a chibi version for it to be animated easily for others to use. Mm. Very, very good. It's very beautiful. Yep. So we are finally reaching the end, and you're almost done with the character design. So, any thoughts on the process and overall outcome of your design? I think we did good. Oh, so you're a man of few words, huh? <laughs> okay, so that's it for us. Here is the final character design style. Design? Mm -hmm. uh, the official mascot of one. <laughs>